Having hit the seaside town of Yapoon, the beef capital Rockhampton was next in Cyclone Marsh's firing line. By the time the storm reached Rockhampton, it had been downgraded to a Category 3, but the winds still packed a punch. Reporter Alison Horn is there. The wind roared as Cyclone Marsh raged across Rockhampton. This is probably one of the strongest systems uh, that we've had in this system for uh, many, many decades. Gusts of over 100 kilometres an hour lifted roofs. There's a shed just around the corner that's completely gone. It's just been completely destroyed. Creeks turned into dirty brown rapids. Sheets of rain poured in. Backyards were certainly no playground. Don't go out unless you need to. Have a doona day. Um, in, enjoy a bit of family time. ABC Radio's Paul Robinson saw the storm unleash. But look at this now. Rain coming in almost horizontally. The wind is huge. Boats broke their moorings and wound up on the banks of the Fitzroy. Well, they'll be able to refloat them, you know. You've got to get back on the boat and keep sailing, don't you? Rockhampton has no cyclone shelter. Residents were told to hunker down in their own homes. Trees came down. The power went out. And in Rockhampton, we already have 20,000 people without power. And this is going to increase as the day progresses. We don't need people out on the road looking at what's happened uh, as things start to um, ease up. We need you to stay put, particularly with the, the power lines down. It is a very dangerous environment. Nearby Gladstone went into lockdown. About 100 residents went to the evacuation centre. The full extent of the damage is still being assessed, but Marsh's march south continues. Biloela is the next town in line. Alison Horn, ABC News, Rockhampton.